in these problems we are being asked to take fractions and turn them into decimals. Now if you have a calculator handy any fraction can be turned into a decimal just by doing the division. This number 21 over 100 is the same thing as 21 divided by 100. That's what a fraction really is. It's a, it's a way to, to put a division problem. So you could do that. However, when you have denominators of 10 or 100, these problems are pretty easy to do. And you might find them faster to do in, the, in your head than on a calculator. So let me show you how this works. When you have a denominator of 100, that means that the smallest the last place here in your in your decimal is going to be the hundredth place. So to the right of the decimal point, we'll have two places, the tenth place and the hundredth place. Put a zero out here. And we just put the numbers in in order. This one is the last number, so that's going to be our hundredths. And the two fits in here. So this is 0 0.021. Take 21 divided by 100 on your calculator, and you'll see that's correct. If we have a denominator of 10, that means we only have one place to the right of the decimal point. And of course, the 9 is going to fit in there. So this is 9 tenths, or 9 over 10. Here we have 9 over 100. So because it's hundreds, we're going to have two places. So the last place here is the hundredths place. That's where the 9 goes. And here, you'll fill in with a 0. So 9 one hundredths is 0 0.09. So that is how to convert some fractions uh, to decimals when they have denominators of 10 or 100.